Okay, uh, what are we doing now? <sighs> Guided tour continues. Number two. Oh god, how many of these do I have to do? Please don't say it's around the whole entire map. Please just say this is the last part of the trail. Please. Oh god, kill me now. Right, anyway. Huh, why have I still got the interaction point with that sauna though? nature fits it all together is funny to me. Have you heard the quote from Edison? I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. <laughs> Describing his method for creating something is perhaps close to how evolution works. Nature needed countless mutations to create a thing that contemplates how many times it needs to create another thing. I wonder if you could call Edison's various attempts as him using his imagination and creativity. Could you then call nature's evolution and mutation as a manifestation of its creativity? But is evolution's creativity like a child painting or like an inventor finding ways that don't work? <laughs> I think I need a long walk to think about this some more. Oh, he's actually done talking. Thank goodness. Jesus crumbs. I've seen a lot of brown bears to the north of here. There are rumors of a great big deep looking bear in the region. I have never seen it myself, and I'm not sure if it's true or not. Maybe you could go and check it out. You know, in old Finnish mythology, the bear is a very safe animal. We say carro. When a bear was harvested, a great feast was held in its honor, and part of the celebrations was about convincing the bear spirit it had died by accident and not been killed. This was done so that the bear spirit would not try to seek revenge. Afterward, the community would help the bear spirit return to the forest so they would continue to be game in the future. For other communities, the bear was a son of a god and was symbolically married to a maiden to make a bear god happy. Waking up on a Wednesday and hearing the good news, you're being married to a grizzly today. <laughs> have you written your vows? We might not have a lot in common with ancient people, but hunting and celebrating the harvest is something we've been doing for many millennia. That emotion and activity ties us directly to the hunters that came before us. You know, it takes a while to sink in. You are doing and feeling the same exact thing hunters 5,000 years ago might have felt. Oh, good. I'm still on the same mission. Oh, yeah. Good. Right. right, continue on with the tour. It's Just northeast of here, up the cliff is a lookout tower. This trail does not get any closer, so if you want to use it, now is a good time. Come back here when you want to continue the trail. <sighs> Seriously, you, you could have done it back there. <sighs> okay, I've got the ATV, right, we'll quickly go out and get this. Uh... Other things I want to know. Right, 
how much more does he want to talk? Please, not much more. Ah, oh, please say we'll start heading back soon. <laughs> this trail is getting annoying. Oh dear, right. No. You know, there are plenty more trails to walk on. For example, the yellow trail takes you through the hills. My personal favorite, the one me and Mirio take when we want a long walk with Holly, is the red trail. It's a bit of a trek, but it goes down through the archipelago. Mirio is an oceanologist, so we can mix pieces with pleasure and bring our binoculars to some bird ones. We have many different species of birds that visit us. I don't remember the names of the birds in English. Uh, we have the uh, Metsahanhi and the Tukkasotka. And oh, oh yes, yes, <laughs> this one I know. We have the Golden Eye, which I remember because uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, he's good James Bond. And maybe you know, birds can't keep secrets. So if you listen, you can usually hear them long before you see them. When I want to get really close to them, I usually use a pulse blind. We have them available in the shop if you want to use one. Talking about birds reminds me of a song me and Pirio made together a few days ago. We recorded the call of some birds and made this. It's very short, but I think it turned out funny. Uh, let me put it on. No, oh, please now. Right? A Pirio is very talented. I think you need help. Jeez, strangling the bloody cat or the birds, I don't know. You know, west of here is a lookout tower, and northwest of that there is an outpost. It's a bit of a walk, but you can visit them now if you want. Or we can just continue on the blue train. So instead of making me just go there. God damn it. Let me get that one clean now while I've got a chance. I'll be back in just a moment, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, really? This is the. Uh... Huh. Okay. Different front outpost, I will admit. Alright, let's get back on the main trail. <laughs> 